Hey man, it's time for PD. Alright, uh, just give me one minute. Attack commence. Capture up! <laughs> You know what, dude? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over some pretty cool stuff. Today, we're going to be giving Boat her medicine for her mouth. We're also going to be adding moss to the bottom of her cage for her bedding area. We're also going to be feeding all the lizards. We got some cool hornworms. We also got some dubia roaches for them, and then if both decide she doesn't want to eat today, we're going to try the Pedialyte method. Alright guys, so applying Boat's medicine is pretty simple. All you really need is a Q-tip and the medicine. So you simply just squirt the solution right onto the Q-tip. Make sure the Q-tip turns green. You also want to make sure you shake the medicine up before you use it. To put the medicine on her, since she only has a little bit of nose rub here, I just gently twirl it right on her wound. Doesn't seem to bother her much. I think she really likes it. It probably relieves the pain. So before we start feeding, I want to get this bedding a little better. So I have filled this entire bottom of Boat's cage, which is my huge breeder, with a bunch of coconut fiber. Now it holds humidity in great. We're sitting at about 80% humidity and about 78 degrees. So now what I want to do is, I want to bump this 80% to like 90 or 100. Now the only way to do that is really to add water. So there's one other trick I had, which was the moss. So what I'm about to do here is I got 28 ounces of pretty hot water. I'm going to just dump it in this bag. Hopefully it soaks up enough. I'm going to spread it evenly around. Hopefully this will bring up the humidity a little bit. All right, so here goes the hot water into the moss bag. As soon as the water gets into the bag, I'm going to start tossing it up with my hands a little bit, but let's get all the water in the bag first. As you can see, sitting at the bottom, raising the moss out. Actually, take a little bit out here. Stuff at the bottom here. That's what I really want for this piece. Yes. I should, hopefully, with this moss, be able to raise that humidity even higher. That's what I'm banking on here. I'm going to try to put it in spots where I think she would nest that. Another trick one of my buddies taught me was you can add leaves from outside. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that, but I want to make sure the leaves that I add are clean and sterilized before I add them. Um, I'm kind of like a germaphobe with that. I just want to make sure there's no bacteria that could possibly hurt my babies because these guys are literally my babies. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to thicken up the soil a little bit now that we have added the moss. So with the water now, it's going to be seeping in little pockets. I might just turn this into a biodome, honestly. Now, because really the only thing I could add, I could add some like mint in here or some other plants that they actually eat. This is actually the best kind of bedding you could give an animal like this. So adding the moss to this fiber, the coconut fiber, will actually increase the humidity. It, it should 100%. I should be, at, plus the water, I should be able to get this to about maybe 90, 95% humidity. It's also really good for the lizard because this is 
pretty darn close to how it would be in, in nature. The only thing it's missing is like, you know, the smaller bugs that would be in the soil and whatnot. However, I put down the line, see now she's looking. This is the mom. I think she's looking to nest. I'm not gonna keep bothering her. I'm gonna actually get out of here in a second. We're gonna give everybody a little feast today. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a funny little clip. I'm gonna take this lizard out of the cage and I'm gonna get bit. All right, guys. So I'm probably gonna get bit here, but here, I'm gonna pull her out. Ooh. All right guys, so this is my Australian male frilled dragon. It's not the friendliest lizard. Tell you guys a funny fact about frill dragons. They can't open their frill without opening their mouth. Oh, boat jumped out of her cage. Where you going, boat? So this is an example when dragons run free. Come here, boat. Where you going, mama? Where you going, mama? This is big pregnant boat. Going crazy. Holy. I'm going to see if boat will take one. Oh! That is a... Fantastic sign. Boat can have all 15 of these if she wants. There you go, mama. Let's actually dust some of these with calcium. So what we're doing here, now that we got boat eating, we put a very, very, very small amount of multivitamin in and a nice little bit of calcium with vitamin D3 in this little concoction I have here. Since Boat is enjoying these hornworms so much, we're going to give him some calcium to make sure she's getting what she needs. Give him a little toss. And then, ready guys? She said, give me that. I guess she's full. For the last part of this video, we're going to put Steve the Australian Dragon into the tub. He's about to shed. His frill looks like he could shed. It's turning blue. So I'm going to risk getting bit again here. On the left side here, your right side, that's an Australian frill dragon trait, that beautiful red frill. Alright, let's get this little man in the bath. Steve doesn't like the bath too much, but 
As you can see, he really needs the bath. We'll help him with the shedding big time on his frill. Steve's not too fond of the camera either, or me. Sorry, man. Water's around 75 degrees. Now, a cool thing about frill dragons is they swim like alligators. All right, guys. So I'm going to let Steve sit in here for a little bit. Give him like 30 minutes in here. A uh, nice warm soak will help with the shed. Also keep him hydrated a little bit. He's probably going to poop in here too. And while he's sitting in here for the next 30 minutes, we're going to go feed Rusty real quick. All right, guys. Wrap up this episode. We're going to feed Rusty some roaches. Um, I'm also beyond ecstatic to say that we got both to eat today. It's been almost a month since she's eaten. We had her eat 17 hornworms today with calcium, which is amazing. I'm, I can't express how happy I am that she's eating. Um, this should really help her with her pregnancy alongside with the moss we've added to her cage. So to wrap this video up, we're going to try to give Rusty this roach and yeah. If you're loving these Shrill Dragon videos, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Also, if you're really liking this channel, make sure you hit that little bell in the corner down here. Uh, it'll give you notifications on the channel. Also, I want to tell you on our next upcoming episodes, we'll be going to White Plains, New York. We're going to be visiting my buddy John, who's also the owner of Sim Container. He has some really sick Ackies. Honestly, the coolest monitors you would ever see. Um, he's going to be at the White Plains show. Make sure you give us a follow on Instagram as well. Prehistoric Dragons. Thanks, guys.